let's see the quick fix. You know, low hanging fruit type of thing. Benda yang kita boleh buat mudah. Huh? Segera. And these are the things. Number one is saluran terbuka di Nusim Melayu. This is very powerful because we have been teaching. Teaching benda yang sama. Lecturer yang ada dalam kelas, 30 of them we are teaching. We add on another 10. 40 in a class. Still teaching the same thing. Maybe marking a little bit extra. But it is what we are good at. Our strength is teaching. So saluran terbuka di Nusim Melayu. Secondly is the online distance learning, the ODL. We are working on it because we have capacity limitation in the campus. We can only house maximum maybe around 30,000 students. Beyond that, we probably have issues with classrooms, issues with accommodation, issues with cafeteria and facilities. But this online distance learning, we can actually increase the number of student intake without having to increase the physical capability of the university. So this is very powerful. A company in Indonesia organizing online distance learning have got 700,000 students registered. If we can get 1% out of that, which is 7,000, it will be more than enough for us. This is the power of online distance learning. And we have also remote learning. We have PJJ, remember? Remote learning. Many years ago, we are not interested because we have enough money to spend. But now we need to look at all this. We have been teaching like we have been teaching now, but remote learning meaning that there will be hybrid of people sitting in front of the classroom, in the classroom, 30 to 40 of them, plus another 200 out there. So this is a remote learning process. They will study just like the others are studying with us, interacting with them, hybrid and virtual in a way. And we want to increase this number because they won't be in our campus. They will be somewhere out there, either locals or international students. Fourthly is the micro-credentials. We have been talking about these micro-credentials, meaning that you can actually take a particular course or you know, fraction of the course, and then you can actually stack it later on, and it becomes a degree program, for example. Uh, 